Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 26th of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather changing fairly dramatically over the weekend. We'll see rain and storms tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Then the coldest air so far this season. Many spots will see a big frost by Monday morning of next week, and some will see a freeze for the first time this season. Check it out. There's the water vapor satellite view this afternoon. The big trough that brought this dose of cool air rotating northeast away from us, but a new trough digging down across the northern plains. And that will deliver that cold air punch on Saturday. As expected, a very nice warm up today. Temperatures mostly in the low 70s, Birmingham at 71. But around the nation, here comes that surge of cold air through parts of Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming, South Dakota. And that's the air we feel on Saturday. In fact, we'll stay in the upper 40s much of the day Saturday with a strong northwest wind to make it feel colder. Check it out. We have uh, freeze warnings in effect for much of the Great Plains, a winter weather advisory for much of Minnesota. In fact, the winter storm warning in effect for the northern part of Minnesota and wind advisories up across the high plains. Severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. No issues. Maybe some thunder for the coast of New England, but tomorrow and tomorrow night, there is a marginal risk for parts of the Gulf Coast region. The SPC guys have trimmed this back a little bit now to include basically southwest Alabama. Birmingham and Tuscaloosa have been taken out. A uh, very limited set of instability here, so it should not be a big problem. But again, we'll watch the radar trends carefully tomorrow night. That includes places like Greensboro, Utah, York, Livingston, Demopolis, Thomasville, and points south down to Mobile and Baldwin counties. And on day three, this is Saturday, maybe some thunder for southeast Alabama, a marginal risk for the southern tip of Florida. Rain for the next seven days, about one inch for the north, one half inch for the south. The bulk of that will be tomorrow night and Saturday morning. And in the tropics, again, we're watching a disturbance on the coast of Central America. A medium chance of that becoming a tropical depression within five days. Whatever, that's going to merge with a cold front, the one that's going to bring us the cold air this weekend and maybe bring some heavy rain to parts of the upper Atlantic coast late this weekend and early next week. The main issue will be from heavy rain. So, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at 1 o'clock at 500 millibars. Big trough developing west of us. Now, during the day, we should be dry. Clouds will increase. The high is somewhere between 71 and 74 for most locations. This is tomorrow night at 8 o'clock off the high res NAM. There could be a few showers around, but the most widespread rain still to the west. So again, for the high school football games, a shower possible tomorrow night, especially for my 65 west. But again, the big rain should hold off until after the games are over. This is 4 a.m. Saturday. Rain and storms passing through. And again, there could be a strong storm in there, especially over south and southwest Alabama. But there's just very limited instability here, basically no instability at that hour of the day. And then this is Saturday at 1 o'clock. And at that point, the uh, rain is mainly east of I-65. So uh, the rain should be over uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, I'd say by 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The rain exits east Alabama later in the day. And it will be a raw, blustery, cold day. These are wind chill indices Saturday at 1 o'clock. And you can see Fort Payne 37, Cullman 39, Birmingham 42. That's the way it's going to feel. And again, with low clouds and the rain we had during the morning, it's just going to be a pretty rotten day to be out. Go back to the GFS. This is Saturday at 1 o'clock. Go to Sunday. We start the day down in the 30s, mid-30s likely. We've still got a pretty good wind going on here, so I don't think we have any frost on Sunday. Some of the colder pockets may be getting down toward freezing. Uh, the high Sunday will be only in the 50s despite a sunny sky. And Monday, this is when the wind goes light, and this is when we should see our coldest morning. Uh, lows in the upper 20s and low to mid-30s. Uh, colder pockets see 20s with a freeze, but most everybody should see a fairly widespread frost early Monday across the northern half of the state. Then during the day, we warm up into the 60s. Tuesday, 
mostly sunny with a high close to 70 in Wednesday. Uh, next little front comes in from the west. That might bring some rain Wednesday night, maybe into Thursday. This is Thursday. Uh, trough passing well to the north. And again, evidence of maybe a few showers, but nothing heavy, nothing widespread. We'll check the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday, the 5th of, uh, 5th of November. Heights about where they should be. Looks like there might be enough moisture for a few scattered showers, but no evidence of any strong storms. Keep in mind, our uh, fall tornado season kicks off uh, the 1st of November. Uh, so we have to watch for dynamic systems. But for now, we see no chance of any severe weather through at least November 5th. And the numbers, there's that nose dive over the weekend with highs dropping in the 50s. And that high Saturday of 57 probably coming during the early morning hours. We could hover in the upper 40s much of the day. And again, for Birmingham, it's got 35 Saturday morning, 34 Monday morning. This is off the GFS Ensemble. And after that, highs go back into the upper 60s to near 70. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090 AL certification number 11120